If you want to get accepted into nursing school, there's good chance you'll need to take the TEAS exam. If this is the case, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Arbel from Test Prep Online, and in this video I'm going to provide you with crucial information to help you succeed on the TEAS exam. Let's get started. The TEAS, Test of Essential Academic Skills, is a test designed for students applying for nursing schools in the U.S., and it aims to determine their ability to deal with the requirements of a nursing program. In 2016, a new version of the TEAS was adopted called the ATI TEAS, or the TEAS 6, replacing the old version of the TEAS 5. Therefore, make sure to only use practice materials for the TEAS 6. TEAS is a multiple choice test, administered both in paper and pencil format and online. It consists of a total of 170 questions to be completed in 209 minutes. So, let's review the TEAS content and format. The TEAS exam consists of four sections, reading, math, science, and language usage. The reading section has 53 questions to be completed in 64 minutes. This section tests your ability to read and understand passages quickly and answer the questions that follow. Have a look at the topics this section covers. Here are a few tips to help you ace the reading section. First, read a lot before the exam. Second, look out for indicators within the text, such as the use of bold font or italics. These indicators may be trying to lead you to important information. And third, treat the information in the text as real and don't let your prior knowledge interfere. The math section consists of 36 questions to be completed in 54 minutes. As part of a medical staff, you will use math every day, calculating dosages, converting measurements units, and much more. Therefore, the math section tests knowledge of mathematical concepts, such as arithmetic operations, algebra, measurement, and data. Here are a few tips for the math section. 1. Order of operations is crucial. Remember PEMDAS. 2. Familiarize yourself with the US standard system and the metric system and how to convert between them. And 3. Understand that fractions, decimals, and percentages are different ways of showing the same thing. The next section is the science section which has 53 questions to be completed in 63 minutes. This is one of the larger topics on the T's in terms of information tested and it requires a lot of memorization. It covers three topics with an emphasis on human anatomy and physiology. Here are two tips to keep in mind for the science section. First, focus mainly on human anatomy and physiology, as this topic makes up most of this section. Make sure you understand and remember the anatomy and function of the different human systems such as the immune and nervous system. Try to use lists and flashcards for memorization. And second, when dealing with life and physical sciences, make sure you know the basics, the structure of DNA, structure of an atom, and differences between solids, gas, and liquids. The last section of the teeth is the English and language usage section which consists of 28 questions to be completed in 28 minutes. This section assesses your ability to use the English language correctly, an essential skill for a medical staff. There are three topics covered on this section, conventions of standard English, knowledge of language, and vocabulary. So, what to do? 1. Familiarize yourself with parts of speech, such as nouns and pronouns, and understand their purpose. 2. Increase your vocabulary by reading. And three, master spelling and punctuation rules. The TEAS is a challenging test, and to score high you will need to practice properly. Allow yourself at least two months of practicing to give your skills enough time to improve. We welcome you to use our various TEAS packs, as they will provide you with complete simulations of the TEAS, together with detailed explanations, solving tips, thorough study guides, and a lot of quizzes for extra practice. I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment if you have any questions or if you want to contribute anything for your fellow TEAS applicants. Good luck on your upcoming TEAS exam!